one of the big questions that we've been seeing this year or hearing about at the plant desk is what is wrong with my boxwood and my boxwood are looking terrible and I want to replace them and you may notice if you come out to the garden center that we don't have any boxwood this year so we thought we'd do a little bit of video and tell you why we don't have boxwood so in the past we on a, after the last couple of winters that we've had when the weather's been um, we have nights that get below 20 degrees below zero or we have a lot of warm days followed by cool nights and freezing um, and thawing kinds of temperatures and fluctuations in the early spring is that we see what on boxwood what we call winter kill and winter kill is a cosmetic problem for boxwoods they look really terrible lots of times they'll grow out of it but in the last few years there is a new disease on the horizon called boxwood blight and boxwood blight was found in the state of Wisconsin in the late summer of 2018 and was found in Dane County at a nursery last year. And so boxwood blight is a really quick moving, um, catastrophic disease for boxwood. Once they get it, they're done. And so the way you know the difference, if you have one or the other, winter kill on boxwood, the leaves are gonna turn yellow, sort of, late winter early spring and then new growth will leaf out the yellow leaves tend to stay on the boxwood for an extended period of time boxwood blight starts off as sort of darkened spots on the leaves which then kind of coalesce to cover the whole leaf and then the leaves drop so if you've got boxwood where you have some sort of off colored foliage but it's staying on your boxwood plant that is not boxwood blight but if you have a disease where you have dark spots and the leaves are falling off then that's boxwood blight and it moves very rapidly from one plant to another and since there aren't any really um, researched uh, resistant varieties of boxwood on the market yet the Bruce company has decided at least for this year and maybe for the next couple years that we are not going to carry boxwood and which is really sad because boxwood are a great sort of very formal looking hedging plant and we're gonna really miss them. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about maybe some things that are similar in shape that you might use to create the same effect. Um, this particular plant, this is a Globe Arborvitae. Um, I know it doesn't have those great leaves that Boxwood has, but it's a similar shape, nice and round, very tight, tightly formed, slow growing, evergreen so something that can give you that little formal kind of hedge look you could also look at any of the globe spruces so this is a globe spruce cultivar uh, called roundabout and again it's a dwarf which means that it grows three inches uh, three to six inches a year so very slow growing a very tight round little plant and really good for sort of definition of a space or a little hedge and we are hoping that there is some good news on the horizon in the next couple years and that we can bring boxwood back into the garden center and you can replace your boxwood hedges in the meantime uh, watch for the blight there are some preventative you can do a preventative uh, fungicide application to sort of keep it from um, from developing but once you have it you're sort of stuck and you'll want to remove your boxwoods and then you need to destroy them you need to burn them you need to bury them or you need to bag them in double trash bags and get rid of them it's not something that you want to put in your compost pile because as those fungus as the fungus develops and spores it's going to keep on spreading so it's something that you want to be really diligent about and monitor and then treat your plants correctly so sorry this is a bad news video but we're hoping there's good news on the horizon and happy boxwoodless summer from all of us here at the Bruce Company.